Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for April 13th, 2024. We are having a shifty kind of day, so the keys are twofold. For the first half of the day, allow yourself to take the time to connect and flow with what feels good for you, particularly with your brothers and sisters, uh, with your community, and not just your family by blood, but your family by energy. And then allow yourself to also be aware of any illusions and confusions. Allow yourself to make sure that what you see is what is there. And don't rush. And then in the second half of the day, um, we have this energy very much saying, you know, take time to nurture yourself, nurture your home, nurture your family. Allow yourself to release your subconscious wounds. Allow yourself to release the patterns or energies of passive aggressiveness and learn to continue to embrace being direct about who you are and what you need, especially around your feelings. Allowing yourself to step out of patterns of trauma and limitation and stepping into patterns of empowerment and accountability. And this is definitely all going to have a little bit of an edge to it um, because of the other aspects we have. So I say this because we have the moon in Gemini. We have the moon in Gemini. Um, and then it's going to go void of course around 10. So right now where I am, it is now void of course. And then it's going to move into Cancer at 1 and 44 p.m. And so during that moon in Gemini time, we have that sextile to the sun and the square to Neptune that says, you know, do feel, do flow, but, you know, check your facts, make sure everything's above board. Then when that moon moves into Cancer, it has a quincunx to Pluto. And this is where there is like your subconscious if you haven't already been paying attention to it, it's scratching at the back of your door, right? And so I encourage you to just let it in, you know, allow yourself to be aware of what has been underneath the surface, particularly because this is Pluto and Aquarius, what has harmed you or what has limited you in relation to the collective, allowing yourself to tap into loving yourself. When the moon is in Cancer, this is all about the house of I feel. This is the house of the mother. So if you don't have a good relationship with your mother, uh, allow yourself to nurture yourself in the way that you would have wanted your mother to allow yourself to take care of yourself in the way that you can we also have a summer square to jupiter that says you know you have to be really careful about going overboard especially with that square to neptune the queen comes to pluto and a semi square to jupiter there might be this desire to engage in escapism and disassociation so be very mindful of not doing that and rather instead of disassociating creating patterns of where you can connect with yourself and express yourself in a really healthy and embodied way versus a disembodied way. Journal, create music, uh, beautify your home, just sit in a space of enjoying it and loving on yourself. We also have Mars in a semi-square to Pluto, right? And so on the upside, this can be where you're like, okay, I, I see this about my self-conscious and I wanna do something about this. I wanna get busy, I wanna heal myself. On the other end, especially with that cancer moon, this can be sometimes where um, people use emotional manipulation. P cancer moon can be a bit passive aggressive, so you have to be careful about that. So overall, make sure you're standing in integrity, make sure you're standing in accountability, and you need to take time to yourself and to take care of yourself, do it. Anybody who loves you really doesn't have a problem with that. And allow yourself to see who does have a problem with who when you take care of yourself and move accordingly. I just want to remind you guys that we have so many planets in Aries. There are just, we have the North Node, we have the Chiron, we have Venus, we have the Sun, and we have Mercury in Aries. So the stars are saying, pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what you need, what you need to do to care for yourself, how you're loving on yourself, um, how you are paying attention to where your dreams are taking you. And particularly with that Mercury retrograde, refining and redefining the language you use around you so take your time i love you guys so much and i'll see you tomorrow